Every sewing enthusiast must have a presser foot and one essential type is the gathering presser foot. All these are gathering presser foot which does different types of gathering in your garment. Hello everyone, this is Prabhakar from NXM. I hope you are having a fantastic day. All these presser foods are available on our website www.mynxm.com If you have any questions send it to me through either WhatsApp or you can write it in the comment. All these are different types of gathering presser food. I have already made the video about these three gathering presser food. I am only talking about this one today. In this video I am going to show how to make gathering in this presser food. This is an interesting presser food. Why it is interesting because it does gathering. You can also do pleating in this. In this presser food you will get two different types of attachment. One is for the lighter fabric, another one is for the thicker fabric. When you are fixing this attachment, you have to make sure that you are not blocking the hole here. There is a hole here that is for the needle. So you should not block that hole. It should be away from this hole. And depends on where you tighten the screw. For example, if you tighten the screw here and if you use, you will get a different types of gathering. And if you use here, you will get pleats in this. The gathers might vary depends on the fabric so i'm gonna tighten this to the edge what i mean the edge is this one so i'll keep it on the edge and tighten the screw and chain this press a foot and i will also show this useful attachment in the same video i have set the press a foot attachment to the end now let me sew and show you i have set the stitch length to five after a few stitches we can see the gathering and you can change the stitch length. Now I loosen the screw and move it little front. If you see here, the first what we saw half is the gathering. And the second half of which we moved the attachment to our front, there we got the pleats. And I also tried on denim fabric. What I suggest is here also you change the stitch length and the thread tension and try. And every time you change the setting you get a different gathering here. Now let me show the A11 attachment. If you observe this attachment, there are two slots here. You have to fix it here with these two screws. And you can also use this attachment as a guide also. Depends on your garment or the project, you can loosen this and move front and back as per your requirement and tighten the screw here and whenever you are not using this you can just push it away and you can do your regular sewing here if you see this kind of knit fabrics edge is rolling here and it will be difficult to sew what I'm using here is a knit fleece fabric While sewing, if you see here, there is a screw here. If you turn clockwise, it will come up. And if you turn anti-clockwise, it will hold the fabric. It will not allow this edges to roll. And also one more advantage of this, we can also use it as a seam guide. So that we can stitch parallel lines. It depends on your garment design. Adjust the guide and tighten the screw. Let me sew and show.
if we check the distance between two stitches it will be same everywhere thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you if it did please do like share and subscribe in this moment i would like to thank these amazing people who supported nxm that's my team see you soon in the next video till then keep designing